everything we give him thanks oh in the good times we're gonna praise his name lord in the bad times keep on doing the same in everything Oh, give the King of Kings all the thanks. Oh, as the musicians play it through, can we just lift up our hands? Can we give God worship this evening? Father, we welcome your presence in the cool of the evening, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, may you move amongst your people in a special way tonight. We give you praise, Lord. We give you worship, Lord Jesus. Oh, that's it. Talk to your heavenly Father. Tell him how much you love him. Glory in the bad time. Keep on doing the same And in everything We give the King of Kings All the thanks Oh, let's give the Lord a hand of praise Hallelujah Do you love Him this evening? I say, do you love him this evening? Praise his wonderful name. Amen. Feels so good in here this evening. If you have your Bibles, would you turn with me to Psalm 37, verses 3 to 9? Oh, Father, make us one. Psalm 37, trust in the Lord and do good, and so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth Thy righteousness as the day and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man that bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. And fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth may the lord add a blessing to the reading of his word what a promise amen as christians we just keep walking we love and we we respect our brothers and sisters and let god do the rest let us go to him in prayer our gracious heavenly father Lord, we come to you this evening, a needy people. Lord, every day we need more of you, Lord. And Father, Lord, after this morning's message, Father, Lord, knowing that by a foreknowledge, Lord, you could see, Lord, where we were going to be today, Father. Lord, you knew every step that we would take, Father. But Lord, you also knew our outcome, Father. That how we were before the foundation of the world in the back parts of your mind, Father, that we would, Lord, come full circle to become adopted sons and daughters, Lord Jesus. So, Father, today, Lord, we walk by faith. And we walk in love, Lord Jesus. Father, I pray this evening that, Lord, as we close out these meetings, Lord, we would close out in such a spirit of unity, Lord, 
such a bond together Lord Jesus that as your prophet said Lord that the Lord they went together without the sound of a hammer or the buzz of a song but they were cemented together in love Lord God Lord to where a razor blade could not even get between them Lord Lord may we be so cemented together in the love of Jesus Christ Lord God, to that Lord, nothing could come between us, Lord. Bless your people. Strengthen their bodies for service. Bless, Lord, and strengthen your servant, Brother Theo, Lord. Lord, for this uh, wonderful inspiration to bring us together. Leave with the entire Headstone Tabernacle and touch their bodies, Lord. Now we ask these things and we ask that you take control of this service. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Why don't you turn around and greet your brother and sister. Oh, my Father, make us one. Oh, that the world may know that thou hast sent thy son. Oh, Father. Oh, that's it. Take your time. Greet your brother and sister. Tell them how much you love them. the world may know that thou hast sent thy son oh father make us one glory oh my father may oh with all your heart now angels joining him oh my father make us one oh my father make us one so that the Oh, Father, make us one. Oh, come on, brothers. Glory. Oh, let's give him praise. You feel the Holy Spirit here tonight? Oh, he's uniting his church. One body, one mind, one spirit. One Lord, one baptism. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, make us one. Oh, can I hear the people now? Oh, my Father. give him a hand of
praise his holy name wonderful wonderful jesus says to me counselor prince of peace mighty god is he he is saving me keeping me from all sin and shame wonderful is my redeemer oh brother Koki. my lord is wonderful he's oh jesus he's my prince of almighty oh, god is he he is well from all sin and shame well wonderful is the Johnson. Oh, he's well, mighty God is he saving me, keeping me. Well, wonderful is my redeemer. What a mighty God we serve. Well, what a mighty God we serve oh, angels and heaven and earth adore well what a mighty god we serve jesus is jesus jesus is we serve oh jesus is the god we serve Put your hands together. Let's worship him. Oh, I feel like dancing. I say I feel like dancing this evening. Oh my. Brother Robledo spoke about David. He told his wife, you wait till tomorrow. But tomorrow has come. Let's dance on the devil. Come on now. You got the devil under your feet this evening. Stomp on that devil. Stomp on that devil. What a mighty God we my soul says, it says, it says, my Lord, oh yes, oh in the morning, noon time, in the evening, my Lord, My soul says yes, yes, oh yeah, my soul says yes, Lord, say my soul says yes, 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 says yes, Lord. 
Oh yes, Lord Jesus. Oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord Jesus. Steal away. Steal away. Steal away to Jesus. I want to steal away. I hear the trumpet sound. I said, I hear the trumpet sound. I hear the trumpet sound within my soul. Oh, church, we ain't got long to stay, stay here. Give him praise. Give him praise, give him praise, yeah. Praise his holy name. You may be seated. This time I'm gonna ask Brother Zoe Thompson if he would come forward. Get into our specials. Do you love him? Mm. We're going home. We're getting out of this place. And it's all because Jesus is the cornerstone. Amen. And we are going to be magnetized to that headstone. Amen. The word coming for the word. Amen. The earthly Mrs. Jesus Christ hooking up with the heavenly Jesus Christ. Amen. Appreciate our precious brother Zoe. Amen. is the cornerstone came for sinners to atone and though rejected by his own he remains the cornerstone Jesus is the cornerstone. Do you love him tonight? When I am by sin oppressed on that stone, I am at rest. Where the seeds of truth are sown, He remains my cornerstone, my Jesus. 
luz acesa Ave con la stone Just worship her In the rock of ages Hallelujah Oh, clap for me So secure for all time, it shall endure till God's children reach their home. He remains the cornerstone. Till God's children, oh, they reach their home. Oh, ever let this truth be known. Oh, that Jesus is a cornerstone. My Jesus is the cornerstone. God's children, oh, they reach His throne. Oh, ever let this truth be known that Jesus is my cornerstone, my Jesus is. God bless you, Brother Zoe. What a beautiful song. Amen. That was the, uh, that was the first special that I ever sang uh, in the convention. I think it was 1988. Long time ago. I salute you. God bless you. Amen. Well, at this time, we are going to uh, take up the tithes and offering. Service is a little different tonight. So with every head bowed, every eye closed. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless these tithes and offering, Father. Use it for the furtherance of thy kingdom. Bless those that can give, those that cannot give. And Lord, we'll be careful to give you all the praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. You don't have to worry And don't you be afraid Joy comes in the morning Troubles they won't last always For there's a friend in Jesus that will wipe your tears away 
Oh, and if your heart is broken, oh, just lift your hands and sing. Oh, I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. And no matter what may come my way, I know my life is oh, and with oh with him I know I can stand and no matter what may come my way I know my life is in your hand so when your test and trials they seem to get you down and all your friends and loved ones they are nowhere to be oh testify now remember there's a friend in Jesus who will wipe your tears away oh and if your heart is broken oh just lift your hands and say well i know that i can make it i know that i can stand and no matter what may come my way i know my life is in with Jesus, with Jesus I can take it. With Him I know I can stand. And no matter what, my life is. Oh, Brother Isaac, Brother Gideon. What a friend we have in Jesus. Down to our lowest moments, he's always there to pick us up. Come on, my son. Come on, my daughter. Rise up on your feet. Keep moving forward. Come my way. Oh, and with Jesus I. Oh, hallelujah. As the choir comes forward, oh, no matter what may come my way, I know my life is in, and I know. That my Redeemer lives. I know my Redeemer lives. So let all creation testify. And let this life within me cry that I know. Oh, I know that my Redeemer lives. Oh, I know that my Redeemer lives. Oh, let all creation. Testify and let this life within me cry. Oh, I know. Oh, come on, choir, sing with me now. Life, 
Hallelujah. 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 Amen. You may be seated. Amen. The choir, it's a joint choir from here in Trinidad and down in Lagos. I love this. And the title of the song is called Waymaker. May the Lord richly bless you.
You're the answer to it all, to it all. appreciate the special can we give God a shout of praise is he a way maker amen through troubled waters is he a way maker can you give God a shout of praise oh thank you Jesus my God bless your choir what a song my well, the atmosphere is, is right. 
Are you ready for the word? You appreciate our precious brother Johnny Conte. Amen. It's a blessing for me to be able to call him to the platform. God is so good. Oh, God is so good. God is so good. Oh, God is so good. He is so good to me. Oh, and let's praise His name. Oh, let's praise His name. Oh, let's praise His name. He's so good to me. Hold to His word now. Hold to His word. Must hold to his word. Well, now hold to his word. He is so good to me. Oh, God answers prayer. God. Tonight for the prayer line. Oh, our God. And so spread Oh, be so oh, One more time. Oh, yes. God is so good. Praise God, hallelujah. God is so, so God is so good, is so good. Just close your eyes and lift up your hands. Close your eyes this tonight. In your own way, let's invite the Holy Spirit tonight in the meetings. God is about to do something great. Lift up your hands and close your eyes. Let's give God some worship tonight. Just ask for what you will tonight. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is a solemn assembly. Put as much faith as you can. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, God, for tonight, Lord. We are such a needy people, Father. These hands, Lord, lifted up towards you represent needs, Lord. Needs that are beyond what we can handle, what we can do, Lord Jesus. We are finite people. We have limitations, Lord. But we know a God that has no limitations. A God that can do anything, Lord Jesus. And we stand here, God, tonight in faith. Jesus, I ask you, God, tonight that you meet these people on the basis of their faith. They may not have enough faith to get what they want, but we have a high priest, Lord Jesus. His name is Jesus. He gave his life for this bride. I ask you, God, tonight in a special way, Jesus, just sweep across this audience tonight. May every need be met. 
on our altar of faith. Let the sick be healed, Lord Jesus. I want to thank you for tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Every form of demonic hold confirm to your people, Father, that the blood atonement is indeed for them. How we thank you, God, tonight, Lord. And we shall be careful to give you all the praise, glory, and honor because we have asked you it in Jesus' name. And the people say, Amen. Amen. Well, just turn around and embrace somebody. Say, God bless you. Oh, wonderful. I feel so good tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's manifesting time. It's the sun divine and a lovely one. That's why the carpet chooser. Can be better than that. Somebody say now, your is manifesting. Wonderful. Feels so good. Yeah. Coming into view. So look out into something. Joy of the lovely one. Oh, come on, come on. Do something better than this. It's manifesting. It's a holy convocation now. So bring your joy, bring your happiness. You can't be a chosen one. Your redemption to it now. For the lovely one. Oh, one more time say it's a manifesting time. For the fruits on the vine and the lovely one. the lovely one tonight. Come and say that. It's manifesting time. My healing. My deliverance. I'm happy tonight. Oh, look up you chosen ones. The redemption to it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So come, it's manifesting time. Are you happy tonight? You feel good tonight? You feel you are the lovely one tonight? This is your manifesting time. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, I have some protocols to do tonight. Praise God. Hallelujah. The atmosphere feels so good tonight. Brother, anything can happen tonight. Just get some faith. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, this convention is really special. Right from the very first day is fire, fire, fire. And that's how I know it's a holy convention. Because every sacrifice must be made by fire. And brother, God has to provide the fire. You bring your sacrifice, but God provides the fire. So we thank God for all the meetings. God has been so good to us. He's provided fire. And tonight is the last and final fire. The fire will fall. Every disease shall be consumed tonight. You've got to believe that. Hallelujah. If you feel that way, then say amen. Let me see that. You see, I tell people sometimes you have issues you can handle. 
The only way out is by faith. So faith is not a suggestion. It's a must. You can come to these meetings you have issues on you and you are asking, can I believe? Will I be healed? Will I be delivered? Will I receive the Holy Ghost? It's no suggestion. You have to believe. Because all things are possible to them that believe. If thou canst believe. As many times people don't know how to believe. And that's why when you receive the Holy Ghost, God has to teach you to believe. To believe takes willingness. Say amen. God is moving. In the days of Jesus, if you go through the Gospels, with that blind Bartimaeus, like by the, by the Peter's first opening message, Jesus, by foreknowledge, knew they were sick, they needed healing. But he will always wait for them to cry. He will wait until faith is expressed because they have to be willing to be healed. So willingness is where you release your faith and go on and see to what extent are you willing? To what extent can you push? So you can come to these meetings and just relax and think, well, it will happen. Because where is your faith? I came tonight already anointed. The Holy Ghost is upon me tonight. So if you're just willing, you can go back with your diseases. You can go back in your same state. You are going back home. Change. Because God is more than willing to deliver you, to set you free, to baptize you with the Holy Ghost. This is God's program. This is God's idea. This is God's plan. But the question is, do you believe? Let me see that. The woman came with the issue of blood, 12 years bleeding. Doctors and physicians had exhausted all that she had. She had only one hope. The Messiah would. The Son of Man. And she came in faith. She spoke from within herself. And inside revelation. If I can only touch the aim of his coming, I shall be made whole. A pastor did not tell her that. A bishop did not tell her that. But something spoke on the inside. A seed. Praise God. Can somebody shout hallelujah? I don't know what seed you came here with tonight. But if you came with the right seed. You can go back the same way. Let me see that. I'm just preparing you to believe. Because you can sit here tonight and be an onlooker. In the kingdom, it doesn't work like that. We must understand the principles of the kingdom. How things work in the kingdom. The devil is on the run. I wish you can hear what I hear tonight. The devil is on the run. Let me see that. Twelve years. And when she came, there was an obstacle to her faith. 
she met a press. That was a good excuse to say, well, I've done like all I could. Let me go back. But you know what? She pressed away. That was how willing she was to be here. Not just your belief, but she expressed her willingness. I will do all it takes. And Jesus said, your faith has made it whole. We, weeks back, God anointed with the revelation. The way the bride comes to the third phase of our third step, our seventh of faith must pick up healing and forgiveness. And that's how I came into these meetings. Because we can't have genuine faith without that faith having forgiveness and the healing. Because all through the scriptures, all those who had faith, when Jesus met them, they were healed and their sins have forgiven them. So tonight, don't come here all frenzy up upon your heart. This is a holy day, it's the convocation. God will speak to your situation tonight. Thank you, Jesus. So I want to thank you for the Peter Chandler. Ah, man. Representation by predestination. If we could just translate all those messages into, into faith. Like I was telling Brother all this afternoon, the way he presented the, the book of life, right from the mind of Elohim, the foreknowledge, the back part, you can find those things in Brabant's message, per se. But I was saying, Brabant said in two fortunes of the seals, see, God also presented to you as a thought. But it has to become your thought. That's right. So force is, is God's thought. But by his grace, he presents it to you. But you're going to hold that thought until God makes it your thought. When it becomes your thought, you understand it your own way. It's now yours. That is what you call understanding. So what he said this morning, you see, you can't find it in the prophet message where Babam will tell you all those, those three groups of the angels, how Babam will open that up to let you see the three sections in the book of life. You can't find those in Babam's message. But when he spoke this morning, it opens your understanding. That was his thought. So I'm trusting God in these meetings. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Because until we speak back this message with our thought, it cannot be yours. So we read the quotes. We hold on to the coat. But all those quotes, these are Brabham's thoughts. The prophet had to say things in a way you can find the same things also in the Bible in a way he had to say them. That was his thought. And we pick up his thought. So you read this coach, you read Brother Branham's thought. It's not revealed to you yet. It can't work for you. Until you come to a season your understanding opens. It becomes your thought. And when you speak it back, the devil knows it's your thoughts. God has transformed his thought to your thoughts. Then it goes with power. Then you know that you know nobody can shake it from there. It's revealed to you. It's part of your system. It's part of your spirit. It's part of your mind. 
It's no you. It is open to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. So what happened to Chandler? Representation by predestination. Adam represented you in the fall. He sinned. That was how sin was imputed to you. To your account. You become a sinner by representation. That should give you faith to believe that the only way to become God's righteousness is by representation. It won't take your effort. It won't take no because Jesus Christ already represented you. Can somebody shout hallelujah? So the legalist is out. Representation by predestination. Let me see that. But I Peter, thank you very much. How about the Peter trick your representation way back before the beginning? Try it back to an angel of the Lord. Because without Jesus, your representation is weak. He gives power and strength to your representation. He's here tonight. Once he's here, you can't fail. You can't backslide. You can't die. Can somebody say hallelujah? Somebody say hallelujah. Don't you only to be deemed of angels. Those angels represented you. And if your angel wasn't deceived, you can't be deceived down here. And thank God my angel was not deceived. My angel kicked Lucifer out of heaven. Can somebody shout hallelujah? And that is why I'm here tonight. That is why you are here tonight. Because your angel was never deceived. He took sides with Michael. You have to believe this church. Seven thunder give you faith. Shout hallelujah. Don't put your mind there. Because these things we tell you, your human person was not there at all. So you can count on your reasoning. We are too well taught. We understand how we all started. Our speaking started. Look, man, look. Stand to your feet quickly. Because something is getting me out of the way anyway. Let's quickly turn to St. John 15, 7. We are going to enjoy the world tonight. And St. John 1, 1, 1 to 4. I'll go through the ministers' messages. I'm very sorry, please. Okay, this is how it we, St. John 15, 7. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will. And it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. Amen. See, so if you abide in me and my words abide in you, which words? St. John 1 1. So in the beginning it was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of man. So we just bow us down. Father, we thank you for your holy writ. We just read your word. We just want to enjoy the word tonight. I just pray, Lord, that the Holy Ghost himself will come behind the word and just bless God your people. Let the sick be healed. Lame walk, cripples walk. We thank you for everything, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I have a title for a subject inspiration. The spoken word is the original seed. Let me see that. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. That's my title. That's my subject. That's my inspiration. Praise God. Hallelujah. So thank you, Brother, brother Peter. And then after Brother Peter came, who next? Brother Isaac, possessing your individual inheritance. That was amazing. Praise God. And how Caleb represented the bride. 
Not even a tribe, individual, took the land. Hallelujah, then below bloody came the eternal church at the end of the seals. And many guys don't even believe the bride has, a, the bride has an age. After the seventh age, you have a bride age, the Holy Ghost age. And that the capstone only comes from the Holy Ghost. Because if you can't get to that age, you can't even be in the rapture. Because the capstone doesn't come on dry. The capstone comes to the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Somebody say hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Oh, so we have to move up to that slot. The Holy Spirit slot. Holy Ghost become Holy Ghost people. Then in that slot, your human spirit dies out. You become pure God man. Before you can pull down the capstone. This is not church. This is bride. I am not talking to church. I'm talking to bride. So if you're in the bride, you have an eternal church age. A bride age. A Holy Ghost age. Hallelujah. Praise God. And seven thunder give you faith to believe this. Hallelujah. May we see that. And then, the, but uh, thank you, Brother Isaac. And after Brother Isaac came, who I think I'm um, at sons made manifest that Brother, Brother Raymond. I'm blown out yesterday night. I was blown out by what I saw. And I was saying, God, can anybody live here without the Holy Ghost? God, God so filled the house. Well, praise God. Hallelujah. Let me thank God also for this morning. But our Olu, the evening and the morning, the first day is many things, but Olu spoke in his message. I would like to come behind him and say a few things back to you and see how it goes. Well, I have a spoken word, the original seed. I just read to you that if my word abide in you, you abide in me, you can ask what you will. I mean, where, where can God find a son in this message? This is a personal authority. Come into a spot where you can ask anything and it shall be done that's your calling before the rapture so god must find a seasoned son a seasoned bride who can ask what he will and god says it shall be done but to do that his word must first abide because that is spoken word power your words don't return void anymore. Once you speak it, they come to pass. Can somebody say, Imagine that, church? That the prophet will say, Have I ever told you anything? Only one man can say that. Have I ever told you anything that has not come to pass? And you know we can say yes. There's no. Everything he spoke as thus said the Lord came to pass. A spoken seed son. Can somebody shout hallelujah? You see, we are going back to that. That is my vision. That is what I'm looking for. That's no church. This is pride. Oh, can somebody say hallelujah? But you see, to have this, you must have the word. The word by which God created all things. You see, that's where Adam was to be an immature God on the earth. Because he was given a commission. Be fruitful and multiply. But it was only a seed of the word. Can somebody say amen to that shot? And I would have always said this morning, he was given a seven day rest. But forever, O oh Lord, thy word is what? Yes. Down come Hebrews 4. Let's labor to enter into the rest. That means Adam had to labor. Can somebody say amen to that church? Because you, he can bring fruit without his original seed. He was only a seed of the word. But the word itself in its entirety by which God created all things was the Logos. The fullness of Christ. Christ is before all things 
and by him all things consist and he created all things for himself hallelujah praise god so that was the original seed by which god created all things the local seed jesus christ fullness let me see that and god took that seed he kept that to the seventh seal A seed by which when that seed speaks in you, it can come back void. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise God. So it was by that seed that the sun was created, the moon, the heavens, the earth. And the last image that stepped out of that seed was a man. And the image and likeness of God's. Hallelujah, praise God. Oh, somebody help me shout tonight. Somebody help me shout tonight. Hallelujah, praise God. We are coming into that season now. When God shall give the church back apostolic authority, when we shall speak our words, we'll go forth like lightning. But you must understand how to come to that. You see that? But I hope I'm free to preach. Let me see that. And Adam was on the earth. And we all know the story. The Eden story. Adam was placed in Eden. God's paradise. See, it was not just an earthly creature. It was an Edenic creature. It was going to be in Eden. That was the headquarters of the earth. And it was given a commission. Be fruitful. Multiply. Reproduce your kind. Because you see, it's by the word that God created the monkey, the baboon, all these trees you see. But why are they all different in their appearances? Because you, see, you must note the seed by the kind. Because the seed is asked to bring forth after its kind. So it, it is the kind that defines the seed. So you must know your kind to understand your seed. You see, the seeds might look alike, but the kind. That's why I'm so concerned about my kind. Not just how the seeds look similar, but the kind. Because the kind defines the seed. The kind defines God's purpose that was in that seed. Now, suppose you have never seen a mango tree. All you have seen was a mango seed. What, what resemblance is between the seed and the tree? Like when the Raymond Thompson said, you see, the thought I have towards you, the intentions, the purpose. You can see those thoughts. They are attribute. They are sealed up into a seed. So when the power of comes and transforms the seed, God's purpose, God's intention that was in that seed shows up. So when you see a mango tree, that big tree came out of a small seed. And the seed itself doesn't even look like the tree. But that was the seed bringing forth out of its kind. And even among mangoes, there are different species of mangoes. So what I'm saying tonight is we're all Christians, but our kind, our species is different. You are not just a regular Christian. Can somebody shout hallelujah? No, 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 no. You are not a regular believer, friend. Your kind is different. You are a God kind person. A God kind believer. A God kind Christian. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. So not just the seed, but the species. Let me see that. Brother, we, we are coming to real seed time. And when we hit seed time, you must be a real seed with a real kind to be part of this pride. Oh, somebody shouts hallelujah. 
I am so happy, praise God. We are back to see time. We are back to kind time. Back to our real kind, we see that. So you see, God by the word gave every creation a seed. He created it. He gave you the seed. Then he said, let every seed after eat. Now, what if you don't know the kind? Then you can take any kind of a seed. <laughs> but if you know the kind that's in that seed. So, so what kind is your seed? Because if you don't know your kind of a seed, how do you know really who you are? See him? See it? If you don't know what kind is a seed, how do you know really who you are? So now listen close. Everything God created is the word of God. Amen. Call it the plants, call it the monkeys, the, it's all the word. Amen. So they're all like seeds because God's word is a seed. Amen. But then it came down to where God created man in his own image. Yes. After his own likeness. Yes, it was God's image and God likeness. Yes. That makes him fully complete God. Every attribute, everything that makes God God was in that man. And God put that man on the earth to be an amateur God. To exercise God's attribute, his authority. He was a different species, a different man. And God told this man, be fruitful. Bring forth after your kind. So Adam was given the seven seal book, the title did book. Abraham said, in that book was one, how to make sons. So God has a code, how to make sons. It was locked up in that book. He said, but Adam had to come to maturity to speak a, a, a world of sons. And that was how we are supposed to come. Not in this condition we are in now. We are struggling to believe simple, simple things. We should be born here with faith. Because faith was to be a natural thing to you. To believe that God heals should be normal like Jesus Christ. He doesn't need to struggle to walk on top of the water. Because that was his nature. That was who he was. Oh, somebody shouts hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let me see that. That was who he was. And Jesus Christ is your elder brother. You came from the same order of creation. The highest order. If you don't think like this. Demons will always harass you. Let me give you a short testimony. I just came from Alta, but all just from O. But the James had to come to his meetings. But the James was struck with hepatitis. You know, hepatitis had no cure. So I called a friend in America, bro. Can you help with the drugs? He said, bro, the drugs are expensive. I said, James, you've got to believe. Because I've trained you to believe that you can live above hepatitis. So we came to the home meetings. God blessed us with an anointing. Went back. I said, Brother James, go back home, test your faith. Go and, go and redo the test. He did the test. There was not one symptom. That's the God I serve. See, that's the God I'm talking about. I've seen this God walk. So my aspirations is to be the real son of God. An adopted son. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. So I have all faith. That God is not dead. That God is alive. And that God is your God. That God is my God. Let me see that. Let me see that. Let me see that. 
Let me see that. You see, Brahma always says, preaching is wonderful. It brings the sinner convicting, but it says teaching places you positionally. Because Brahma says you cannot rightly have faith if you don't know who you are positionally. So when a man does you know who he is positionally, you see, Christ knew who he was because he knew his position. Where are you now? Because the things you take from the devil. This is 2017. I want to come to a meeting. Where people will say. Devil. You can't do this to me. Maybe you missed me. Bram says if you can hardly have faith for divine healing. Hardly have faith. That is what high breathing did to us. When we chose to do the servile walk. Do our own thing. Do things our own way. Having to use the mind. What you think, what you feel, how you see, servile, not God's way, just a way that smeared right way, man, but that way has a dead end. But there's a way that leads unto life. So I don't talk about the way that smeared right, that looks right, but it's a way. And the way looks all right, but the end of that way is death. Hey. Let me see that. Thank you, Jimmy. See that. Let me see that. See, Adam could not get the seed. He was an original seed creation, but he was to be given this seed by which all things are created. And God gave that seed to Abraham as a promise all down through the ages. Keep moving on, keep moving on, keep moving on. Praise God, hallelujah. Like Brahma said, it was an oncoming thing. It was to come to a season where God can give him this original seed by which all things are created. And that seed has to be Christ, the fullness of the world. If you feel that way, then say amen to that. Yeah. You see, so Adam did not get to that. He failed in unbelief. God took back the seed. Because that seed can go to the enemy. Because if Satan gets hold of that seed, what he can do with it? God took it back. And he kept it to the seventh seal. The original seed. Bram says the spoken word. You can't have real spoken word outside that seed. In this age, that's a promise. Before the rapture, somebody will pick up that seed. A church will catch that seed. A minister will have that seed. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, the authority acts what you will and it shall be done. Yeah. Our holy convocation is going back to how things we had done on the first day. God had an economy that was run by spoken word. That was God's economy. Everything God did was by spoken word. But he called that work. He didn't call it toil. What we do now is we toil. We don't walk. Real work you speak. That's how sons of God operate. They speak. They don't have to toil. 
Can somebody shout hallelujah? Somebody shout hallelujah. Let me see it. See, Adam fell down to toiling. He became to toil and sweat. Out of the sweat of thy face. But that was not God's original intention. That was never God's thought towards Adam. Adam failed in his commission. But God promised I'll restore. I'll bring it back. Because my purpose can't be defeated. I'll find some sons, some daughters who are predestinated. I'll give them back that seed. I'll find some sons with character and give them back that seed. Oh, can somebody shout hallelujah? Can somebody shout hallelujah? Sons of God with character. But I can give back that seed seed. Ram came and pushed that seed. He called that seed the seed of the entire Bible. That means that seed is the seed of the Bible. And he placed that seed under the thought pool. And gave us steps how to get you that thought pool to get that seed. Under your thought pool, mystery with you, that seed comes forth. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But you put in your soul like a presentation of that seed. Like the Ulu preached this morning. And we've been, we, 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 this, is, this has been hard for us to get people over to this other section of their lives. Because your whole life is all messed up over this other section. Your human spirit. And we've not taken time to understand the power of the human spirit. That was Satan's plan. See, God made man in his own image. His own intention too was to get a man in the image of a beast. You see, but, but I'm telling you of all these mysteries about the image of the beast. Who do you think that beast is? Do you think that beast will have to be some, some leopard, some, 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 some animal that, 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 that whose four feet are the feet of a bear? No. He said, if you have wisdom, count the number of the beast. It is the number of a man. Just what Nebuchadnezzar did. He built the image of a man. But it was worship. And the angel told, the angel, Daniel revealed to Nebuchadnezzar how, the, how this would be like four kingdoms. But it shows human government, the human spirit that will rule the whole world. And the devil has worked so hard on the human spirit. He's brought it way up to 2 Timothy 3. Having a form of godliness. But he's still human. There's no God there. Can somebody say amen? You see, but, but Daniel saw, but the mechanism saw a stone come from heaven. And smash that image. Because that was not God's original image. That's why in this season I'm so mindful of the human spirit. So in the seven thunders, you must die to your good self. Now, maybe, listen, let me see that. Let me see that. That's why we've been warned all these years of a second Timothy 3 spirit. It's a spirit that has a form of godliness but denies the power. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Amen. Now who do you think the beast is going to incarnate? He will incarnate a man. You can buy, you can sell. But it will be a man, a highly polished man. Bram did the trail of the serpent. He showed the trail all the way back from Eden. It started as a tree of knowledge, good and evil. Came down to Cain. Religious man, religious spirit. But no God there. Like Cain worshipped the revelation. He was a pure beast. But has the form of a man. Look like Abel. 
they look so alike they were even twins but one has God one has no God can somebody shout hallelujah you see that was set as plain to mingle the seeds once the seeds gets mingled it gets you confused so it takes a revelation to tell which seed is not and which seed is that is why you must know your kind who really you are shout hallelujah let me see that let me see that bro can i preach i want to preach tonight this is holy convocation because somebody is going to go free somebody is going to be set free tonight let me see that let me see that let me see that let me see that the devil is in trouble tonight we are going to paralyze every human spirit that the holy ghost can have away let me see that let me see that you see when paul said the carnal mind is enmity against god it is not subject to god neither indeed can be so they that's work in the flesh is it calls your flesh a mind because it's a mind that controls your flesh but it's a carnal mind it's a spirit And Paul explains why the things want to do. He cannot do them. He said, you know why? Because sin. And Paul calls that the man of sin. You see that? The devil took his time to walk on that man. Like God walked on his image. He's walked on that man. And has made that man so religious. He's even anointed, but it's false. He's really human. There is no seed in there to deceive you. Let me see that. That's why this message to me has impacted my life. And you can't come into this message and be deceived. You are beyond deception already. Because many of us are being deceived by our human spirit. Let me see that. Let me see that. Let me see that. Let me see that. And you see, the devil lacks the human spirit. Because you see, that spirit is of the highest grade. It has good in it. It has everything in it. And, and that will control your senses. Nothing wrong with your reasoning and affection. But it's the nature of the reasoning, of the memory, the nature. Can somebody say much that? Church? Because if the nature of your reasoning and your memory is evil, you're in trouble. Somebody walking all day. In your mind, all you can remember is, is what you saw in pornography. How you see these people come to church, they have such a filthy spirit. They can see through sisters, all kinds of stuff lost. It's a nature. So when you're born again, God changes your nature. Not really your spirit. But it takes care of your backside. Which means you can be tempted on the front. But your backside takes care of it. Because on your backside is a character that cannot sin. But if the backside is not dead with. The backside. I am also like tempted like every young man. But the backside, the nature to do it, is what I don't seem to have. So, by my four part, I know exactly how you feel, what you're going through. Because I go through the same. But there's a nature at the back. 
that will not allow me to do it. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. That was why Jesus was tempted in every manner, like as we are, but he cannot sin. He has a sinless character. The character cannot sin. And brother, your character cannot sin. Yeah. Let me see that. Let me see that. Let me see that. You are living here strong tonight. We will always be tempted. Like with all who said this morning, God has a foreknowledge, he knew good and evil. When man sin, God said, man has become as one of us in knowing. That was man's limitation. Man lost his knowledge of life. He became like God in that order. He now knows God and good and evil. But you see, he can't handle it. I tell folks back home, young people, Hallelujah. you tempt yourself. You go, take, you, you go to the Facebook, buy those phones and watch these and what. Can you handle it? <laughs> All those things you're watching, can you handle them? Hey. Can you watch them and be a Christian? I doubt that. Hey. Many of you, even, even your form, your looks have all changed. Because you just happen to see one man that you admire. You can't even handle that. You can't even handle your friend who goes to school and dressed like a ragamuffin. Yeah. You met him five times in school, now you're becoming like him. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. Well, I see the same people every day. Yeah. I even have friends yeah. who take M and all kind of stuff, but I can't become them. Yeah. No, 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 I can't become them. They know me that I'm a Christian. I'm a child of God. Oh, shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. I can't become them. I can handle them. I can contain them. I can tell them it's a devil's spirit. They cannot change me at all. I can handle them. Have you seen it? You see, many things you expose yourself to, you can't handle it. Many friends you gang up yourself with, you can't handle those friends. They are too powerful for you. Because knowing their weakness and weak spot only becomes an enticement to you. You see, but God has character. He knows good, he knows evil. He knows all the bad things you will do. He knows all the mistakes will make, but his character forbids him from changing his mind towards you. You are here tonight. I don't care what you have done. God can still baptize you with the Holy Ghost. That is God's character. What you did this morning doesn't change God's opinion. What you did tonight will not change God's opinion. You are predestinated and that settles it. So I don't care if you came to this meeting as a fornicator. Before you leave, God can baptize you with the Holy Ghost. God can baptize you with fire. Shout hallelujah. God's character can handle good and evil. What God knows doesn't change him. We don't have that ability. You see now... I tell folks, look, what if God gives me a gift to come behind this pulpit and see people's sins? To see who is in church right now who just committed some, some stuff. Can I handle that? Or will I go and call the pastor, see Brother Theo come? You know what? See Brother Holo, he just committed adultery. You see, many of us today, we are, we are friends. Yeah. Because everything goes good and well. What if something goes wrong? Yeah. Can we handle that? Yeah. Can we still keep the friendship yeah. in the midst of what went wrong? Yeah. You see, that takes character now. Yeah. That 
that is God's character. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. That is a divine nature. Like with all who said, God sends the rain on the just and the unjust. We just had our, our one minister is wiping out another minister. That's the character problem. So it shows why God can give us gift to see into people's lives. But the Branham will not do that. He has such a gift to see into people's bad life. But the angel warned him once they are confessed, don't say it out. Bram says sometimes you hug friends, you hug people, and the Holy Ghost told, just tells you this man you're just hugging has just stabbed you behind your back. But you have to hug him with no indifference. Bram says, I can't even tell the difference between my friends and my enemies. That is character. So Adam had a seed, he was a grow to character. Then knows good and evil. Because in this season, I can't even deliver you. If I don't know what your weak spots are. But can I handle them? If God lets me see you carry your spirit on you. Can I still handle you and pray for you? Or I will cut you off. And say you have a wrong spirit. That brother has a wrong spirit. That pastor has a wrong spirit. That's a character issue. Let me see that. Let me see that. Let me see that. Can we handle it? Even those of you who knows your, what, what your weak spots are, you came here tonight with such weak spot. You've been traumatized, but can you handle that? With all that, can you still say I'm a child of God? God has a purpose for me. The righteous man falleth seven times, but he riseth up again. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! How do we handle that? And that is where we are trying to rock you from forgiveness. Because God sent the prophet to justify the seed. When he said you didn't do it in the first place, he wasn't talking to your human spirit. That's the messed up section. But you have another section. Another life. And God is trying to transfer you. To transfer your mentality. To transfer your ideology from this section to this other section. The seed in you has been justified. That seed cannot sin. That seed never seen before. There is nothing against that seed. Forgiveness has a beginning. And it has an end. When God brings an end to sin, he brings an end to forgiveness. So this convocation is not to call you to stay on forgiveness. That's church. But we are crossing over to a justified state by a seed. Not just something you imagine by a seed that's inside your soul. And the Holy Ghost comes tonight to look for that seed. So I am not in this message to have my human spirit made new, cleaned up. But I'm here to become a new man. The new man is in the scriptures. Paul talks of the old man and he talks of a new man. You can't deny that. There is an old man. Who is corrupt after the, his own sinful deeds. But there's a new man that is created in holiness and righteousness. And that new man comes out of your seed. That new man cannot sin. Let me see that. Let me see that. Let me see that. 
You may see that. Let me just read your quote quickly, please. But I must ask a question on translation faith. What is translation faith? She understands what it means to have translation faith. Mom says, the question is, please explain the mystery of the translation of the bride. How will the bride be translated? Because someone thunders give you faith for great translation of faith. What is that translation? She understand you from church. Church people will inhabit the earth. Bride lives in the city. One of the seven angels called John. Let me show you the bride. The lamb's wife. What did John see? A city. You didn't see a bride? That means the bride has become a city. But the angel said, I must shoot the lamb's wife, the bride. And John saw a holy city coming down from heaven. And Malachi 4 tied back the bride to that city. That way, that's your future home. That's who you are. That's not church. You can't live in that city with human spirit. You live there with euphonies. We have been taught these things in the message. You have to believe them. They are not fables. They are true saints of Almighty God. The Bible says just a change of our bodies now. Let's say you. You know what I mean when I say that. I don't mean to be sacrilegious. I don't mean to say ours. I don't mean to say this church. I mean to say every believer. Abraham, he was looking for a promised son that was promised him. Is that right? And the church is looking for a promised son. The bride is. The bride is looking for the promised son. Before the promised son could come to Sarah and Abraham, their bodies had to be changed. Is that right? She was too old to have a baby. She had no milk veins in her breast. Her breast was dried up. Her womb was infertile. She was sterile. She could not have the baby. Her heart was too old to stand labor. So what happened? God changed her back to a young woman. And he did Abraham the same thing. Because he said his body was as good as dead. And he had to change their body in order to receive the promised son. We cannot receive the promised son that's promised us today in these bodies that we live in. These bodies are sin. The first conscience controls this body which is see, taste, feel, smell, hear. It's just got us all scrupled up. Be reason and everything else. But that new body that comes from this bone again. Not this first conscience. It will pass away. Is that inside something that lives? Everybody understands that? Say amen. Now, it's not this outside city feel, smell, and hear. It isn't. It's subject to death and will die. But the inside part of you down in here, inside, that is the person that cannot die. You see, and that's the person that the new life starts from. From this new birth. Listen. And it builds another person in the image of this person you are around that life. That's the mystery. That means if you have a seed of God, because you can't be born again without a seed. But because you are seed, you can be reborn. After you are born again, you have a life. But around that life will come another person in the image. That means it will look like you. But it won't really be you. Another person in the image. You have to believe that man. So it is that person that goes to the rapture. That is why we preach the forming of the word image. Another person in the image of this person that you are around that life. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. He was revealing translation faith. That was the question. And seven thunder give you faith for this. 
That means when you come into your season, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Another man shall be inside of you. I'll step behind the pulpit. You will think it's Brother John with the same looks, but he's no more the old man. I am now a new man, but in the same image of this person that I am. Like Brother Branham, he was God veil, God Embuffy, God taking a form of William Branham. Oh, praise God, hallelujah. So when he stands here, it was not Brother Branham, it was God in the prophet. God Emoff, God changed his skin. And God is about to take your skin. Pentecostals don't know this. You see, so church people, they go to church to get their human spirits cleaned up. But that but brother 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 broke the coat from future home. When God sends his fire, Bam says it doesn't it come to patch you up. No, it speaks of a brand new person. Because you need a brand new man to be on that eighth day. Because that eighth day is a new creation, it's a brand new day. So we can get there with this old man, with his old ways and his old deeds. Seventh thought I give you faith. Let me see that. When I found this coat, my heart was blessed. Let me see that. That is why these are the stages. Let me see that. These are the stages. You have to understand this. You must have a revelation that you are seed of God. But I'm saying this outside man, five senses that's controlled by reasoning or human spirit, is a diamond. But I'm saying we only get scrupled up with our mind. But you are bride. When Paul says the creature was made subject to vanity. Not willingly. God subjected you to vanity. To corruption. Paul calls it the bondage of corruption. But those same children are coming forth. So this new man. That is locked up in corruption. Is going to come out one day. And be a free man. And be a new man. And take back over his earth. That must be our expectation, church. And the court brother what gave, this is a message on teaching that ties the man in. The man that's going to be in that eternal church age. But I'm showed you what that man is. It must be a man of seven spirits from Elohim. It can't be a human being. It's, it's a man with seven spirits. The faith of Jesus Christ. These are God's building materials. That builds that man. A man calls it a being. When this being is completed. That's the man that's going into the eighth age. The eternal church age. Let me see that. These are your mysteries. If these mysteries are taken over your mind, you won't even have time to sin. Let me see that. I mean, I mean, begin to imagine walking around and knowing that one day I'm a Nigerian in the flesh, but one day I'm going to be a new man. You go to your school and watch all your friends. They are all old carcasses. And you understand how one day should become another man. If this thought engulf your mind... You don't even have space to sin. 
This was Enoch's mentality. Enoch walked with God. With his mechanics. And one day his mechanics was changed into dynamics. And he wasn't found. God took him. Please God by faith. This should be our mindset for this season, brother. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The forming of the world image. Another man in the image of this person that you are around that life. Let me see that. Let me see that. Bam says, so potentially it's in here. And what is it? The world promised before the foundation of the world. And around there, this only reflects the negative. That will reflect the positive. The word. And the same thing, or the translation of the bride will be the same thing. The word that's in you, the body will materialize around that word. The same thing did by Sarah. How can you believe this? If you believe it, then say amen. amen. You don't believe it? Amen. If you don't believe this, you're going to stay for three and a half years. Amen. You're going to pay all your tithes and be, do all your kindness. You're going to stay here. Amen. This is rapture with faith. Amen. So let my pastor preach this to me. Amen. Let my teacher preach this to me. Amen. Let Brother Carter preach this to me. This is what I'm going to hear. How do I live here? How do I go? Many ministers preach judgment and judgment at fight. But how do I go? How do I escape the corruption? And the servant on there show you how to go. How to prepare for great translation of faith. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. That is where we all must come back to the home of the world image. Amen. We must come back to the Holy Spirit slot. You see the only convocations? We have, Bam says the eighth is the first. But you don't get to the eighth without going through seven. So first must have seven days of sacrifice made by fire. So you come to a season, the Holy Spirit falls. Charity falls on you. Now we are doing many sacrifices to God. We do our giving, we do our worship, but there's no fire to it. No. All this brotherly kindness, forgiveness, no fire. Because if there was fire on it, the fire takes away the grudge. Yes. Let me give you a testimony. When I, when I was in, oh, a brother did something to me. That was years back. I was so embarrassed. My spirit was wounded because I was embarrassed in the front of my wife. Well, I did, I did the normal thing, went there back and said, okay, I uh, forgot him, just to put the one into action. But the truth was, I was embarrassed. No. My spirit was wounded. I was grudged. Because I felt embarrassed that this happened to me in front of my wife. My wife said, what? So, you know, I lived with it for years. I tried to do the, the normal thing as a Christian, make calls, say fine, but the thing is, the heart was there. It didn't go. But you know, when, when I came to Ho, after the anointing, I just felt something left me. Amen. You see, so I went to him. I said, bro, all these things I've been doing, saying, coming back to say this is okay. The truth was, I was just going to be a Christian. But yeah. in my heart, I was hot. That's right. Because there can't be forgiveness without deliverance. Amen. Amen. Because the forgiveness must go with fire. Yeah. All this sacrifice is a sacrifice. Yeah. To forgive somebody who has hurt you is a sacrifice, but it must go with fire. When fire goes with it, the fire burns the heart. You see, that is what we don't have all these years. We try to make sacrifice. I forgive you. But there is no fire there. The heart still remains. And the heart conditions your behavior, how you do things. But when the sacrifice is made by fire, 
you forgive and you forget. The heart goes out of your heart. You feel good all over again. Can somebody shout hallelujah? That's why God must send down charity, fire in your holy convocation. Because this feast, we are divine appointment. Your faith goes with fire. I've seen people who try to give. They make sacrifice of giving. They give and try to control the pastor how he should use the money. There's no fire there. God loveth the cheerful giver. So when you give and there's fire, joy comes in your hearts. You don't give and follow back your offering. Let me see where they're going to put it. <laughs> Can somebody say amen to that church? <laughs> Hallelujah. One young man blessed me in church. So I never knew what he wanted to, to see your new keyboard. I didn't know that. He just okay, Pastor, I, 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 I want to bless you. I want to bless the church with this. Okay. So the, the money went to the treasury. But I never knew he gave them money to see a new keyboard. So I didn't buy a keyboard. I, I didn't see there was a need for any keyboard. <laughs> Say amen. You, know, you know what he came back to say? He said, I'm, I'm not honest. The money he gave was for keyboard. <laughs> so you, 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 you must be crazy. You must be mad. <laughs> There's no fire there, praise God. It was a sacrifice, but no fire. <laughs> Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah. So when you come to your real holy convocation, on the page three or four, every sacrifice you make for God, God accepts it on the basis of fire. You forgive and you forget. Let me see that. Let me see that. Hallelujah! Our sacrifices of praise goes with fire. Not coming to church, you pretending to praise God, but there is fire. Your worship goes with fire. Hallelujah! Every sacrifice you make must be followed by what? Fire. Then you must go through seven days making your sacrifices, your offerings by fire. That's a real holy convocation. That's why I've always while well, you've not been able to get brotherly kindness. I will give you today. Next week, the earth grudge comes back. But we are called to a real holy convocation. Seven days, your offerings are made by fire. Amen. So the fire must be here. Those virtues must come. The Holy Spirit, charity is open up, brings down virtue power, fire to anoint your actions of faith, anoint your sacrifices. Every sacrifice you make, fire comes on it. What a season is a holy time. That's a real holy time. No more how you feel in your human spirit. The Holy Ghost is there. Hallelujah. Praise God. And those of us with the bath, that's not the end. You receive the bath, you're just getting started. You are just in your millennium. And the Holy Ghost itself as a bath is a temporal gift. Because we are called to be formed into the world image, the person. Can somebody say amen to that church? To become the Holy Ghost as a person. That's your promise. Not just a bath, but a person. The Holy Ghost formed in you. Because that's the man that God can entrust with spoken word. Until God sees that word image man in you, you can't ask what you will. So it has to be him in you. If my word abide in you. That word is the person in the church. The person in your flesh. That's the
as the man he gives the spoken word. Because that man will act according to character. So all these guys going around, I'm adopted. They, they can't fool me. When God adopts you in this age, he gives you back the original seed. Ask what you will. And it shall be done. Can somebody say hallelujah? Can somebody say hallelujah? I just preached by inspiration. I praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Like Brother said, it's everything that you ought to prepare. Right? We're doing our preparations now. What we can do. Add as much as we can add by mental faith. Mental faith. The way your mind tells you. Mental faith. You don't believe God's word mentally. That you mentally. Knowledge mentally. All mental. Mental faith. But you add the mental. Try to forgive your brother mentally. But you come to pray three or four, seven voices, thunder. Real holy convocation. Fire comes on it. And turns your mental virtues, intellectual virtues, into real character. Then faith becomes real. Virtue becomes real. They are bathing to you. You feel faith. You feel virtue. You feel knowledge. It controls your emotions. See, but the Holy Spirit is more because all these virtues, they're all emotion, but these are the emotions of the Holy Spirit. Rather than you feeling hot, you feel peace. You don't even feel the hurt. You don't even know somebody hurt you. It's a reality. Not something you patch up. You try to make like I have forgiven you. But you still feel hurt. But when forgiveness is bath. Thank you Jesus. You feel that kindness. then those virtues become a reality. Amen. Not something you imagine. But I'm saying, it's not an imaginary thing. Amen. You don't imagine faith. You don't imagine virtue. It's real. Virtue left Jesus. Jesus knew. So I feel virtue has left me. So he knew by a feeling that strength has left Can somebody say amen to that church? Can somebody say hallelujah? This is your road map. And take this home as you go. Now we are under the emotions of sin. So it's all pre because it's all intellectual. Our faith, our virtue is all intellectual. Because what you say you have and what you feel is different. Many of us have not even experienced faith yet. How faith feels like. I'm saying the feel of faith. How virtue feels like. How it feels like to forgive. That feel of release. Lord have mercy, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. There's a reality to it. And that's where I'm heading to this tonight. In this season, I'm heading to reality. Real faith. Jesus Christ himself become the center of my emotions. 
You can't even move until you feel late to move. Your feelings become divine. Divinely late. Divinely controlled. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Somebody shout hallelujah? You are such a blessed group to be in these meetings. To understand what you are called to. Understand who you are. Let me see that. And you see, we have not understood the emotions of faith, virtue, forgiveness. We don't understand that. So we are deceived to think we are forgiven when the release is not there. Look, I don't care if you say I forgive you, but if you still feel that hurt, it has not left. You have not still forgiven yet. That and that is why our behaviors, we say, I forgive, but nothing really changes. We still stab the brother, we still say wrong things, because the truth is, we still feel the hurt. It's not gone yet. It's still there. But when real forgiveness comes, it takes that emotion away. I forgive you. And you embrace the brothers. I love you. It's genuine. It flows out. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. And you see in that state, you're not even asking for repentance. You're not asking for a payback. Not somebody who is saying, well, I will forgive him, but except he repent. You can't control that. Repentance itself is a gift. God must give that. Your own part is to forgive. And not hold some strings. I can only forgive him if he comes and says sorry. You talk like that because you still hurt. Can somebody say amen to church? But when that feeling comes on you, my brother, you don't even care. Instead, you are praying. You are seeking how to help that brother. Love comes in your heart. It becomes a reality. You find ways how to pull him out. And not setting standards that can't be met. Except he does this. Except he does that. Suppose he cannot do that. But how far can you go to help him? To bring him out? The brother, I love you. You are a child of God. You cannot do that by pretense. By intellectual something. Can somebody shout hallelujah? So I understand when these virtues are all mental. They are mental. We don't know how they feel like. And many of us take the mental to think that what it is. Like I've seen preachers preach powerful messages that they can't even leave. It's all up here. It's all mental. A mental conception. A mental idea. With no experience. So we have to switch over before you leave these meetings. Can somebody shout hallelujah? God can begin to give you spiritual faith, spiritual virtue, spiritual knowledge and experience. Let me see that. This is what we call intellectual faith. That's your human spirit. That reasons it, imagines it. And that man has got to die. And it takes fire to kill that man. It takes Holy Ghost to kill that man. Let me see that.
So what happened to me in whole? Brotherly kindness was birthed into me for that situation. Maybe more tests are coming, but God let me know he birthed that into me for that situation. That to forgive that brother genuinely, I have to be released. And you see, I have to be honest to say for all this while, I was saying I forgive you, but in my heart, I was still hot. And many of us don't go past that level. We just stay on the pretenses. But I forgive you, and that's okay. Because in your mind, your mind tells you that what forgiveness is. And the heart resides. You are in bondage. Thank you, Jesus Christ. But God has called it to a holy convocation. An appointment with God. You young people, I know you have faith. You believe this message. But it is what wish. That's the word of the word. Blood is thicker. It's a mental thing. Like, like Peter had it. That was the Christ. But it's mental. They cannot feel faith. But faith is a virtue. It's strength. Everybody feels strength. When strength comes on you, you know it comes on you. He had to go to the upper room. On that confession, that was a true confession. The brother always spoke this morning. That Christ is the high priest of our confession. And God gave us a true confession under the seventh seal. True confession of what the seventh seal is. Of who you are. That you are not a chicken. You are not a sinner. You are a child of God. You are a seed of God. You are not a slave to fear or to bondage. Thank you, Jesus. That becomes your confession. Why am I going this way? That God can accompany your faith with an experience. This thing you believe becomes reality. When a man gets the Holy Ghost baptism, you won't have the word itself made manifest, but you enter into the reality of it. The world becomes real. You feel it. Because our feelings are a reality. I don't care what you say. We are made that way. The, way the fruit of the spirit is love, is joy, is peace. But they are all emotional. But these are the emotions of the Holy Spirit. And that was how the old prophets were led. When they were led by the spirit. Bram said, just one not from God, they will know. They've mastered the feelings of the spirit. Can somebody shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The feelings of the spirit. That's the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost tampers with all your evil nature. Because I tell folks back home, Anger is a spirit. But how do you know anger? Anger has a nature. You know how anger feels. How joy is a spirit, but it has a nature. You know how joy feels. Fornication is a spirit, but it has a nature. Because you know how it feels. When the feeling comes on you, it reveals the nature of that spirit. And that is what drives you to the action. Paul says motions of sins, but they are really emotions. And many of us, we understand our emotions more than we understand the Holy Spirit. We allow our emotions to tell us the state of people. Just because you don't, 
you feel bad about me, so I am a bad person. Because your, 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 your emotions have given you a feeling of what you call bad. Like what Thomas thumbs said, then, then you, you make me a product of your feelings, of your opinions. But, but that's not Holy Ghost. These are feelings messed up with good and evil. So how do you even trust those feelings? But if the Holy Ghost is there, when Bram meets Christians on the prayer line, Bram says, I feel a welcome spirit. That's how he knows you are a Christian. Once he meets you, the Holy Ghost tells him, he feels welcome. He says you are a Christian with the Holy Ghost. The man says yes. So I feel it. Can somebody say imagine that? And these are people he will meet for the first time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So when these are feelings, they are so messed up with this good and evil thing. And we assess people by how we feel about them. That's human spirit. So God told you, love your enemy. Even when you feel bad, still pray for him. Because when the Holy Ghost comes upon you, that person might be a different person. That's why I love the land of the Holy Spirit. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The land of the Spirit. And that has to die. I've met plenty of people. They don't even know who I am. Their feelings tell them who I am. And down the road, they realize that we are just victims of lies from their human spirit. That's right. Because your human spirit does not know me. Because I was way back before the world began. And in that state, your human spirit was not there. Can somebody say amen? Amen. All these revelations we are preaching to you, your human spirit wasn't there. So if you begin to reason them, you do yourself more harm. There is another spirit in you that's called a seed that was way back there. And that spirit is the believer. Now listen, listen. I am ministering. Listen. When the Holy Ghost comes, you stand to pray. You will know tonight if God is going to heal you. The woman said she felt within herself. You might come to meetings, you might, you might be in these meetings, you live with it. You didn't know they happen. It happened to every coast, many, many places. But faith. It's like the Holy Ghost. When you go back to the Holy Ghost, you know it. Amen. Something comes on you, you know this has never happened to me. That is a feel of settlement. A feel of satisfaction guarantee. It stabilizes you. No more in and out of the church. In your mind, you might not understand, but in your heart, a feel of settlement, a feel of satisfaction. And we all know when we feel satisfied. That means when the Holy Ghost takes over the meetings right now, very soon, the Holy Ghost will give you a witness. Let me give you a few tests, but all was there was in Congo. I just finished ministering. And there was a pastor's son in that meeting. Finished preaching, the boy got paralyzed. The boy couldn't work. 
So I was called by the country during the meeting. This boy just packed. It couldn't work. But the anointing was present. Amen. 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 So I am the one who came outside. I just prayed for him. The anointing was so present. I just held him up like this. I said, stand up. How did you feel? Before the boy stood up, he felt strength came into him. You, 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 you may be sick sitting here tonight with issues. Amen. And the Holy Ghost is coming. Amen. I'm trying to separate you from your reasoning. Amen. You feel hot, you feel sick, you feel depressed. There's a Holy Ghost feeling coming. Amen. A holy time, a Holy Spirit. When that comes on you, respond. Amen. Don't sit back in your imagination. Respond. Amen. And say, I am healed. I'm delivered. That's how it works. Amen. I've been on this business for a while. Let me see it. Let me see it. Elijah just had to see a cloud as small as a man's hand. Then he spoke. Go tell Ahab. I hear the sound of abundance of rain. Just a little chill comes on you. Bam says, shout and holler that I am healed. Kabam says, if you don't do that, it slips off and the hot waves of hell comes in. You must, you must be taught how to receive the things of the Spirit. Things of the Spirit doesn't come like it comes physical. It comes as an anointing. Now demons are hearing me tonight and they are going to pack out. Because an authority is coming to the building but i'm teaching you how to get free because tonight is a prayer line but before the prayer line god can give you a witness god can give you a divine witness don't go with your imagination Let me see there. Those of you seeking the holy baptism, how does it come? I'm bringing some teachings on, on, on the Holy Ghost. Many people sometimes come to church, they say, I receive the Holy Ghost. You don't receive the Holy Ghost. You don't have the Holy Ghost. Because they, they, they don't even know what it is. You must first know what the Holy Ghost is, what it is given for, and what it will do. Ram says it's a prerequisite before you even ask for it. So in church, I ask Holy Ghost feel people to, to give a testimony. How did you receive the Holy Ghost? How did you know it was the Holy Ghost? We all don't have to receive it the same way. But when it comes, you know. Amen. It's a revelation given to you. It's a stone given to you. And as you go down in your life, the Holy Ghost activates itself. You see things happening to you that was not happening to you before. To confirm your experience. That means what I'm saying tonight... The Holy Ghost can come upon you. I'm telling you, before the service leaves, you might feel the same way. But once it's there, by tomorrow, next tomorrow, the things are shedding off. The things are dying out. Because that Holy Ghost cannot lie. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Cannot die. 
whatever you need before the prayer line somebody in here gonna be healed now all those with heart cases put your hands up those that have heart cases put your hands up stand up those with heart cases put your hands up those with heart cases cases beyond your handling put your hands up All of you close your eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Close your eyes. Let's turn to our feet quickly. Please close your eyes. Musicians, come play for me softly. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Just keep your eyes closed. The deliverance is coming your way right now. Now, as you lift your hands up, close your eyes. Please, I ask that every person closes his eyes. Because in times like this, biggest leave people and go to other people. Those of you who have had cases before the prayer line, play me there softly. Thank you, Lord. Just close your mind and open your heart. Close your mind, just open your heart right now. Just invite the Holy Ghost right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now the Spirit of God is coming here quietly. Only believe all things are possible. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Looking for the Spirit. might not need to do a shaking but the spirit of God is here right now whatever is your case is leaving you now just close your mind my burden is for the sick to be healed tonight in this atmosphere of solemnity God the King God the healer thank you Jesus oh. those of you looking for the Holy Ghost right now you lift up your hands say God just fill my heart with your spirit A sweet spirit is coming to your heart. A spirit of satisfaction, guarantee, is coming inside your spirit. Oh, 
Just close your mind, close your reasoning. Close your reasoning. Allow the Holy Spirit to walk through you. Say, Lord, I receive tonight, Lord. Young people, you can't go back the same way. A sense of contentment, a sense of satisfaction is coming right to your spirit. And all things are possible because Jesus is here.
sister. Come on, brother. Uh, Hallelujah. Let all eyes keep close, please. The Spirit of God is in the house. Lord Jesus, Lord God, Lord God, Lord God, Lord God, Lord God. Lord God, begin to seal your people tonight. I command every sickness by the authority of the Holy Ghost. I release the pillar of fire. I release the Holy Ghost. Every spirit of bondage. Free. Free. I will shout. You demons, I take authority right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. One person is going home tonight the same way. Every hold on your life tonight. I don't care what it is. The authority of God is in the house. The authority of God is in the house. Put a claim on this anointing. Tell the devil tonight under the power of this anointing. Speak the word tonight. Release the word tonight. I say speak tonight. Whatever you will. Whatever you desire. Tonight it is yours. This anointing is going to deliver tonight. I ask that everybody open your mouth. Everybody release your tongue right now. Will they say something tonight? Because the Holy Ghost is here. The pillar of fire has come. Right now, this is your season. The authority is here right now. God was only testing your patience. He was only testing your patience. How willing you are. This is your night. This is your night. This is your day. This is your season. Demons are on the run. Demons are on the run. Demons are on the run. You spirit of infertility. You spirit of fibroid. I command you right now on the Pachaka. Hey! at the back I instruct you right now lift up your hands because the angel is here right now he's moving pill to pill he's bringing deliverance training that this convention will not live in the same way Of you looking for the fruit of the womb, by the blood of the Lamb. those of you looking for the fruit of the womb, looking for the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is ministry right now.
of healing in the house. Holy Ghost 
just give five more minutes. tonight so much virtue. I feel a very strong the spirit of the Holy Ghost is here tonight of the, land. the anointing is so strong Take me the anointing is so strong to the Holy oh God the Holy. reality coming to your soul Take it is so strong brother just put a screen right now God, I want to fill you with the Holy Ghost. You want to baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Father, in the name of Jesus, seal my brother, Lord. Put the Holy Ghost into his heart. Take me by the Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For the seal my sister up. Yes, Jesus. Take me past the yellow coin. Through the holy place. Thank you for my brother. Past the breeze and altar. Lord, I want to see your face. Take me past the crowds of people. And the priests that sing your praise Lord, I hunger and thirst for righteousness But it's only found one place Take me in to the Holy of Holy Take me in by the blood of the Lamb Take me in this is a divine appointment. God is meeting with you, an encounter that can turn your life around with a stiffness. Cleanse my lips here. I am. Yes, in the out of court, you're justified. A holy place made Jesus. clean. But in the holy this is your son of holy yes lord jesus is the holy ghost Ooh. itself yeah. the mighty presence of jehovah and i a prisoner of love lord help me so you can rise in me a capstone of love so take me in to the holy of home take me yes for the daniel yes 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 of the land the holy ghost is not through yet take me i'm still standing here the holy ghost is not through yet young people come on come on sister pearl come on i see the holy ghost upon you come on the Holy Spirit, I can see it. It's right upon you. Come on, receive it. Receive it. I can see it. It's right upon you. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes, I can see it here. I, I can oh, see it. Take me. I can 
see it to the holy of holies. Take me by the blood of God, oh God, of the Lamb. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. To the holy of The spirit of God is over the people. No, the spirit of God is over the people. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. is here. In 
the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Say there is power in the name of Jesus. Lord, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Just raise our hands up. There is power. Adoption time has come. In the name of Jesus. Lord, this is a special chain. convention. Break every chain. Break every chain. There's an army. The Holy Spirit is speaking. So we feel the ministry with a solo. Rising up. God wants to be filled the ministry. There's an army hey. rising up. Lord, break every chain. 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 Oh, break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain.
stop now close your eyes the angel of the Lord is passing up and down the aisle grab a hold of him I don't care where you're sitting if you're in the back if you're in the front grab a hold of that angel you can have your healing you can have your ceiling you can have your deliverance right now there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus thank you Lord thank you Lord there is power in the name of Jesus the Holy Spirit my sister Ghana Break every that cancer chain. Cancer has cost. Break every chain. Break every chain. The cancer has cost. Oh, oh there's anointing that cost that cancer. Break every chain. Break every chain. Lift up your hands with this song. That's your testimony. Break every chain. There is power. No prayer line tonight. In the You're name free. of Jesus. God has honored your faith. There is power. In the name of Jesus. There is power. I tell you for in the truth. In the name of Jesus. To You're break free tonight. Every chain. Break every break chain. Every chain. Free. Break every chain. The no oh, devil can hold you anymore. Chain. No break demon can hold you anymore. Break every chain. You are a child of freedom. Oh, a product of freedom. Every chain. Break every chain. Oh, lift up your hands chain. and join this heavenly choir. Oh. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Sister Becky, come on, yes. Come on now. Yes, Sister Becky, come on. Yes. I hear it, Lord. Another wave of the Holy Ghost, Lord come on. went ahead of the enemy make sure you send your testimonies to your pastor
reach over to your brother and sister. Let us pray together. Lay your hand on your brother and sister. Let us pray together. Whatever you need, let's cry out together. Let them hear you now. Begin to lift up your voices. Come on, my brother. Come on, my sister. Just reach down to that strength that's inner strength that's in you. Begin to push out. Begin to cry out to your heavenly Father. Lord, let it rain on me, Father. Let it rain on me. Pray for your brother. Pray for your sister. Send the rain, Father. That's it. Lift up your voices. Lift up your voices. Come on, church. Holy Spirit is here. Lift up your voices. Cry out to your heavenly Father. Send the rain, Father. Send the rain, Lord. Heavenly Father, Lord, we've come to the close of this convention. Lord, but you're not done with us yet. Father, may the fire, may the fire, may the fire, may the fire of Almighty God shoot through here, Lord. Seal the predestinated seed. We cry out. We scream out. Seal me, Lord. Fill me, Lord. Giving up. Seal me, Father. Feel me, Lord. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, come on now. Many of you are right at the door. Cry out to Him. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Well, open the floodgates of heaven. There is power 
in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain break every chain break every chain Let's give him a hand of praise. such a very special way and yes I praise you I lift you up and I will magnify your name and that's why my heart is filled with praise oh turn around and greet your brother and sister tell them how much you love them. I love you Keep playing softly. As you're turning around and shaking hands, don't just stay in the, the row that you're in. Go find that person you've been wanting to tell how much you love and appreciate them. Make your way out. Go tell them. My mind, 
my soul belongs to you you paid the price for me way back on Calvary and yes I praise you I lift you up magnify your name that's why my heart is filled with praise oh I love you I love you I love you Lord today because you cared for me in such a very special way and yes I praise you I lift you up magnify your name that's why my heart wonderful as you're going through if there's something on your heart something you've been holding against your brother and sister as brother Johnny said sincerely say I'm sorry forgive me and drop it that's why my heart I woke up this morning I didn't have no doubt that the Lord would bring me out all my sins confess my heart and soul is blessed oh and my life is filled with happiness where well, happiness is mine happiness is mine happiness today is mine this morning I didn't have no doubt I knew that the Lord would bring me up I went down on my knees said Lord help me please said Lord help me please I jumped up on my feet with victory journey on through this barren land I know that I'm in the master's plan oh and so I walk by faith each and every day because I know God will show me the way Happiness is my glory. Happiness today. 
joy is mine
Sizo tandasa, sizo tandasa, sizo tandasa, sizo tandasa, sizo tandasa. Oh, sorry. Que do te chamo rio. Come on. Trinidad spirit, see so time. Well, now, no more Trinidad spirit, see so time. Oh, see so time. See so time. Oh, see so time. See so time. Won't you sing it with me? Say, I'm no longer a slave to fear. So I am the child of God. Let's bring it in. Say, I am a child of 
God. This is who I am. Oh, yes, I am a child of God. When you go back to your country, go tell them, I am a child of God. When you go back to school, tell them, I am a child of God. When you go back to work, you tell them, I am a child of God. One more time. I'm no slave to fear. Sire, so I am a child of My God, you appreciate Brother Anthony. I mean, do you really appreciate him? My God, what a gift. Appreciate these musicians. My Jesus. As you make your way back to your seats. say this evening appreciate brother Johnny Conte masterpiece my God you may be seated Brother Isaac God bless you friends we have come to the end of this part of this journey but there will come a time that there will be no more ending no more goodbyes no more see you later because in eternity we'll be together all the time always and forever can the church say amen? amen so just before we close out we do want to really acknowledge uh many of the believers and different ones who made this convention really possible and before we even go into that how many appreciate the lord jesus christ tonight <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated. At the end of the day, friends, it's all about Him. And it's about His love for us. And we are responding to His love for us. Amen. So we really thank the Lord for making it possible when against all odds, the enemy fought at every hand, but this meeting, as Brother Conde said tonight, was a divine appointment. There is no accident in God. There is no mistake in God. And everything is in perfect order and harmony because, he, as Brother Robledo said, there are no oops 
there are no surprises who was at this meeting God wanted at this meeting and whenever God comes down and his people come together something has to happen and as many of the ministers have spoken it has been echoed many times you will leave this meeting and you will not leave empty this word will follow you this word and the anointing and the Holy Spirit will follow the seed in your soul because you didn't put the seed there. The devil didn't put it there. The devil can't touch it. You can't even touch it. That seed is your identity from before there was a moon and before there was a star. And a couple of weeks ago, I told the church, you know, we acknowledge God is omnipotent. We acknowledge he's all powerful, but there are certain limitations to God. There are certain things that God cannot do. He cannot lie. He cannot make a mistake and when he speaks a word concerning us it has got to come to pass and I believe in my heart every word that was spoken in this meeting is going to come to pass the arrow has already left the bow it's on its way your family coming back is on its way the Holy Ghost that you have been desperate for is on its way your healing is on its way your deliverance is on its way your revival is going to follow you in your school on your job in your home amen you may be seated so how many appreciate the ministers that spoke this meeting brother peter chandler thank you for coming god bless you amen you may be seated brother jesse robledo thank you for coming god bless you brother raymond thompson Brother Olu, thank you for coming. God bless you. And Brother John Conte, tonight, we don't have the words. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. And all the ministers that came and supported with their churches, we thank you for your love and support. And what can we say about the song leaders? How many appreciate Brother Joey? Amen. What a blessing. Amen. You may be seated. And Brother Anthony O'Brien, God bless you. A man of many talents. Amen. God bless Brother Anthony and Brother Gideon this morning. God bless you. And the musicians. Amen. You may be seated. And we want to acknowledge some people who like to stay in the background. They never like to be acknowledged. But Brother Stephen Oliveri, you're hiding in the back, but I see you. With the Stephen is our administrative elder. God bless you with the Stephen behind the scenes, making sure things happen. Where's Brother Michael Blackman at? He's downstairs. Oh, Brother Mike at his post of duty, our head of operations, convention director. God bless you with the Mike. Thank you so much. Amen. And it'll be very difficult to call all the names, but all the preparation teams, both for inside and outside, and the technical team without them many things would not be possible the screens the live streaming the recordings the sound system god bless you brother hugh williams brother adrian brother mervin and the deacons and the ushers we appreciate you we love you sister karen ovid i know you didn't expect me to call you <laughs> and the hospitality team god bless you thank you so much and brother norbert knights and the protocol team god bless you and very important all of the believers who came from far and wide this is your convention you made the convention possible we love you we appreciate you from those who came from nigeria ghana sierra leone you name it europe all around the world and right here in trinidad may god richly bless you thank you for coming you may be seated and uh our host pastor but Ovid, Dad, God bless you. Thank you for the vision and the burden. Amen. You may be seated. And by the grace of God, if the Lord has us here still, we will have another convention next year, Lord willing. And I believe in my heart, every meeting will go higher and higher. And one of these days, there'll be no more meetings because there's coming forth a final showdown when as we did and we were represented in heaven when we kicked the devil out there we will kick him out of this earth as well can the church say amen and we're going to have a mighty manifestation of the sons of god and young people the devil could have some but he could never have all 
we have young people here who will resist every temptation who will say no to every offer and we will kick the devil out can the church say amen so i'm finished may the lord bless you can we just bow our heads for a word of prayer as we pray to just close out every head bowed every eye closed Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your love, for your mercy, for your grace. We don't even have the words, to, Lord, to express how we feel right now. Lord, we are still basking in your presence. We are holding on to the word of promise, Father. And Lord, I pray that tonight, Father, the Holy Ghost would continue to bless your people. Lord, as we fellowship and Lord, begin to get to our ways and travel, Lord, all the distances to our homes and our countries Lord that you would grant traveling mercies Lord not just Lord to get back to our immediate destinations but grand traveling mercies as we continue along this journey of life Father Lord as we come into a deeper realization and understanding of who we are and what we are called to do Lord may you give your people strength to continue to press the battle Father may you Lord anoint your men who have spoken and Lord may you recharge them and give them strength to continue to press the battle Father Lord may you bless your people and bless everyone Father in the precious name of Jesus Christ and the church says Amen, amen and Amen Appreciate Brother Isaac <laughs> God bless you, Brother Isaac. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, we need the uh, the uh, church, the local church, to remain behind to help clean things up that was a request so local church if you would remain behind to help clean things up it would be greatly appreciated and we certainly appreciate you for your sacrifice for your hospitality uh, I can't I can't say enough about what this weekend meant to me so I say God bless you to brother Theo thank you so much Brother Isaac, your wives, the Headstone Tabernacle, God bless you. As the brothers begin to dismiss them. You are the living word, bread of heaven, sent down from glory. Many things you were on earth, a holy king. A carpenter, you are the living word, awesome ruler, gentle redeemer, God with us, the living truth, and what a friend we have in you, you are the living word.